updating item prices from voucher this presentation will give you an overview on using updating item prices from voucher feature in PC. With this feature, you can update prices and item masters from the last transactions you have entered. Basically, on entering a purchase voucher, the purchase price entered in that voucher will be updated as purchase price in the item master. And on entering a sales voucher, the sale price, basically selling price entered in the voucher will be updated as sale price in the item master. This will help a lot as while entering a transaction next time, the updated price will be picked from the item master. To enable this feature, click Administration, Configuration, Features Options, Inventory tab. Enable the option of Update Item Prices from Voucher. On enabling this option, a Configure button appears. On clicking the Configure button, you can specify that whether you want to update the last sale price or purchase price or both. On enabling the Update Last Sale Price option, Selling Price as entered in the last transaction will be updated in Item Master. And on selecting the Update Last Purchase Price, Purchase Price as entered in the last purchase transaction will be up updated in the Item Master as Purchase Price. Click Save button to save the configuration. Next, we will create an Item Master. Here we are creating an item named Jagat Basmati Rice. We have specified its main unit as Packet and alternate unit as kgs. Next, we have specified that sale price and purchase prices are to be applied on. We have selected both the option. And now we'll specify the sale price and purchase price in main unit and alternate unit. We have specified sale price per packet as 420 rupees and sale price per kg as 90 rupees and purchase price 400 rupees per packet and 85 rupees per kg. So we have specified selling price as 420 and 90 and purchase price as 485 for per packet and kg respectively. Click save button to save the item master. Next we will enter a purchase voucher. Enter details related to the header of the voucher. We have selected the item as Jagat Basmati Rice. Now you can see on the screen that purchase price is being shown as 85 rupees per kg because in the item master currently the purchase price is 85 rupees. Now we have changed the purchase price to 88 rupees. Click save button to save the voucher. Now when we will go to item master, we can see that here purchase price is appearing as 88 rupees per kg. That is it has been updated from the last purchase transaction. Next we will enter a sales voucher. Enter details related to the header of the voucher. We have selected the item as Jagat Basmati rice and this is showing the price as 420 rupees per packet. We have changed this price to 430 rupees. That is in this transaction the selling price is rupees 430 rupees. Click save button to save the transaction. Now we will again go to the item master and open it in modify mode. Here you can see on the screen that sale price is being shown as 430 rupees. So it is a very simple feature with which you can update last transaction price in the item master so that next time when you make a transaction last price at which the transaction is made whether it is a sale transaction or, or purchase transaction is being shown to you. Hope after going through this presentation, you would be able to easily use update item prices from voucher feature in busy. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.